Today's your lucky day. Keep your eyes peeled for trouble. I'm your man. Let's go. Stay put. Come with me. I have a job. Give me the news. You don't need to ask twice. Yeah. Oh! Doing fine, girl. I didn't know you had a twin sister, Mr. Fry. 
Evie Fry, sir. It's a pleasure. Usually I would reciprocate the sentiment, Miss Fry, but today I'm afraid nothing will bring me pleasure. What's troubling you, sir? I am used to people challenging my ideas. In fact, I live for it, the cut and thrust of spirited debate. Lately, however, attacks against my reputation have taken a darker turn. Threats of violence against my person and against my colleagues. I do not wish anyone to be hurt because of my research. You help me with steric syrup. I am in your debt. We help each other, sir. My brother and I will make sure that you can continue your work in peace. What do you know of bones? I know how much pressure it takes to shatter, snap, or splinter one. Hmm. Perhaps it would be simpler if I just explained the situation. A few days ago, a German colleague, Dr. Schwartz, sent me a telegram. He informed me he was on his way to London to deliver a very important fossil, you see. In fact, he should arrive at Charing Cross any moment now. Would you ensure no harm comes to him? I'll bring Dr. Schwartz and that fossil to you, Mr. Darwin. Splendid. But please do be careful. Do hurry to Charing Cross. to know what the bugger looks like. Silence, and I might let you Wouldn't hurt to know what the bugger looks like. Like finding a needle in a haystack, this is. Wouldn't hurt to know what the bugger looks like. This looks like trouble is brewing. Wouldn't hurt to know what the bugger looks like. Wouldn't hurt to know what the bugger looks like. Like finding a needle in a haystack, this is. Wouldn't hurt to know what the bugger looks like. Like finding a needle in a haystack, this is. for our friend Mr. Darwin. Just act naturally. Right. So, how is Wouldn't your father? Know the bugger looks like. Right. I mean, my dear brother. <laughs> Stay back, Doctor. Is that him? Splendid. Wonderful to hear. I'll do my best not to call attention to how remiss he was in forgetting to warn me about the delicate situation which brings me here today. Are you just going to leave me here? Oh, sir. Oh, splendid. Wonderful to hear. I'll do my best not to call attention to how remiss he was in forgetting to warn me Something about the delicate on. situation which brings me here today. Like finding a needle in a haystack. <laughs> I will surely die without your protection. What's up? It hurt to know what the bugger looks like. Someone's up to no
looks like trouble. Dr. Schwartz? Never got on the train. I did so enjoy meeting you. Do you not see how dangerous Darwin still Stop! And I might let you live! Now to take this fossil to Darwin. Keep moving. Slow down. That's a girl. Last, my heart hasn't stopped pounding. You have it? Wonderful. But where is Dr. Schwartz? Most likely dead, I'm afraid. He never left Germany. At least I managed to get the fossil back. Dear Lord, I should tell you, I was recently approached by men who sought to purchase all my research on the condition I work only for them. Obviously, I refused. Scientific knowledge cannot be bought. It belongs to everyone. Let these villains do their worst. <laughs>